Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 22493. The preview comes with some new stuff, but they're not tied to some specific release of Windows 11. However, we're expecting them to arrive with version 22H2, but Microsoft may choose to include or discard any of these changes at any time. Some of the features may even roll out before the next feature update. Ok, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22593. Perhaps the more important update it's happening on File Explorer, which introduces a new default homepage with a new icon, as you can see right here. Technically, Microsoft is just simply renaming the Quick Access page to Home. However, the uh, Quick Access name will continue to be used, as you can see right here, which will be the name for the first section on the homepage. Also, the Pin Files section has now been renamed to Favorites. Also, the recent and pin file sections are now searchable using the search box in File Explorer, even if the file is not locally stored on your computer. Unfortunately, this release of Windows 11 does not include the version of File Explorer with tabs, but we know by now that that feature is officially coming in future updates. Now, on the Start menu, there are not too many new things, but you will notice that folders now are a little bit brighter to make to make icons easier to see. Also, when you right click the start button to open quick link, the menu will now show terminal as the default command console that you can open, but that is as long as the Windows terminal is installed on your computer. If the Windows terminal is not available, it will default to the Windows PowerShell option. Now, as part of the snap layouts improvements on build 20593, when you use the Windows key Z keyboard shortcut, you will now notice that each of the layouts have numbers and that makes it easier for you to use the keyboard instead of the mouse to snap windows on the screen. Now we can see that we have six different layouts and if we choose two, we press two in the keyboard and now it selects that layout and now we can choose in which of the section we want to place this particular window let's say one and we press one and now we snap the window just using the keyboard numbers finally windows 11 will now notify you when the core isolation feature the feature that protects the memory integrity is disabled so you can turn it back home to protect your computer against malicious attacks and that's it. Those were pretty much all the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 22,593. If you want to learn more about the fixes, because there are a ton of them in this release, please check out the link in the video description. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.